Well, good morning, City Church. I hope you're doing well as we start out the week. Um, a number of weeks ago, I was reading in, in 1 Samuel, and I came across a verse in chapter 2, verse 29, that just stopped me in my tracks. And I'm going to read the preceding verses here as I share this with you uh, to help bring some context into what it was that the Lord was saying to Eli here. So starting in verse 27 uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 2, it says, Now a man of God came to Eli and said to him, This is what the Lord says. Did I not clearly reveal myself to your ancestors' family when we were, when they were in Egypt under Pharaoh? I chose your ancestor out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest, to go up to my altar, to burn incense, and to wear an ephod in my presence. I also gave your ancestors' family all the food offerings presented by the Israelites. So why do you scorn my sacrifice and offering that I prescribed for my dwelling? And this is the verse here that, that hit me. Why do you honor your sons more than me by fattening yourselves on the choice parts of every offering made by my people Israel? Why do you, why do you honor your sons more than me? And as I read that, it was... When I read that, it was more for me a, a, a fill in the blank, if you will. Why do you honor more than me? Why do you consider blank more than more important than me? It's easy to brush something like this off and say, well, that's silly because there's nothing, nothing in this world that I honor more than God, but because he is the focus of my worship. But as I sat with this, I was convicted of my busyness. Our founding pastor, Mike Fairburn, would oftentimes say, if the devil can't make you sin, he'll make you busy. Why do you honor your to-do list more than you honor me? Why do you honor work more than you honor me? It seems more often than not, I will, I will wake up with my mind already building a list of things uh, that I need to, to tend to throughout the day or things that I I'm looking forward to do, things that I, that I want to do, things that I'm excited about doing. And as a result, the Lord was showing me that I was placing a higher honor on those things. I was giving a higher level of importance than, than, my, than I was my personal time with Him. One of my favorite lines from this sitcom, Friends, is when Chandler is racing off to work saying, if I don't input those numbers, probably won't make much of a difference. You see, there are things that we choose to do in this life that in the lens of kingdom, not going to make much of a difference. Yet we make them a priority anyways and sacrifice what in place of it. I want to encourage us this morning to make that shift, to slow down and enjoy your time, enjoy our time with the Lord. As Kim Leland said in her message yesterday, the word of God holds everything that we need for life. And so let the word of God sift through you. Let it transform you. Let it grow in you. And then when you go about your day, you take it with you and then allow it to overflow from you. And then I believe we will honor God above all else. Have a great day.